Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed show with myself, Martin, a rat, and presented by Chain Reaction Cycles, of course. This week we're talking about the dark arts of mountain biking. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Plus, we have got a bumper edition of the Bike Vault. I've got a Halloween special hacks and bodges and an incredible viewer edit. It's all coming up on the Dirt Shed show. So right, we're talking the dark arts of mountain biking, Mine, explain this to me. Well, you know, it's Halloween, it's freak week, so I thought we could have a bit of fun with this. Um, and what I mean by the dark arts are these elusive skills, yeah. maintenance knowledge, the stuff that you need to know to be that complete all-round rider, the best rider you can be, oh, okay. basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what? So what's the first dark art this week? Well, let's get literal with it, I suppose, and talk about night riding. Uh, no, it's, it. it is pretty spooky. It's also pretty sketchy. You can't always yeah. see where you're going. You've got any good stories from night riding? Uh, well, you know what? I've only ever been on one night ride, right? That night. tells you how spooky it can be, right? I went on one night ride uh, with a friend, James Morrell, um, and a guy called Stefan Kruger. We went out on a night ride. It was super slippy. Limestone rocks um, are so sketchy, but the suddenly your world becomes this little tube yeah. of light ahead of you and it is like so exhilarating mm. it is proper fun but it is a bit scary it feels uh, fast it's not for everyone but it's, it's like cool. running in the dark it feels like you're fast and actually yeah dark. but you definitely learn new skills while you're doing it well we've yeah. got a dark, uh, night riding expert to give some more advice here is he an expert hey mr ashton yes night riding it is the time for night riding that's a great time because you can still go out in the woods and ride your bike but i've got a few tips if you want to go out there and ride your bike in the dark have some friends, go out with some friends because that gives you a little bit more fun. You can have a lot more laughs, it's insane. Today, I'm on my own, so you gotta let someone know where you're going and what time you're gonna come back. Give them a time frame because you don't wanna go out there without anyone knowing where you are and you get lost and, you know, it's terrible. It gets scary. Also, lights. One on the front of your handlebars, one on your helmet, because the one on your helmet, especially when you're riding techie stuff, you can turn, you can look down ledges, you can see what's around corners because that one, you're not really gonna turn real sharp to see what's over there, are you? So double light is key. Today I've got one, because that one's just died. So I'm gonna ride a small trail, not a techie trail. That's another one. Picking your trail, pick a good trail. You don't wanna make one that's really tough for you because in the dark, everything is faster. The world is totally different. It's so much more fun. You're looking down, it's always a constant tunnel vision, especially if your light's just firing down the trail. But yeah, and jumping in the dark, I hate it. It's the worst. Back to you in the shed. Thank you, Blake Sampson. Right, the next dark art, right? I'm gonna give you this one, freestyle. Yeah. Yeah, now, now the, the reason this is a dark art, because how do you get good at this big mountain riding, or this slope style riding, or this dirt jump riding? You've got to take so much risk. Yeah. Sometimes it, it seems like they're doing like death defying tricks, well. literally. So how do you get into it? How do you even get into this? What, ever done any freestyle? Um, not really, Martin, no. No, no I know you used to do some dirt jumps back I did in the day. Used to do that. Yeah. yeah, well, you know what? We're not really freestyle experts. No. So, thankfully, this week we've got someone who is. So, check this out. This is how to get dark arts mastered in freestyle. Hello, Martin. Hi, Neil. Hi, everyone at GMBN. Um, Sam Reynolds here, live at Rogate Bike Park. Super cool here, loads of nice jumps. Um, but yeah, I got into free ride myself. Uh, I actually started racing four cross, that's how I got into mountain biking. I just thought it was cool. Uh, but four cross is always on Sunday and they had a King of Dirt contest on Saturday um, which I always thought was cooler, it looked more fun you know and uh, I actually ended up just entering a couple of them once and uh, turned out I enjoyed it way more and was better at that so yeah here I am still doing jumps 10 years later I guess. I would say the dark arts to free riding or dirt jumping or kind of anything crazy on a bike is to be totally confident you know if it's in the back of your head that you might not make it then you're not going to go full power and you're probably going to do yourself more damage so yeah you got to believe that you're going to do it go for it 100 percent commitment and uh yeah it should be good oh, cool well cool i love freestyle love it love it i have got a game actually i just thought something we could do neil yeah uh, a bit of freestyle riding yeah yeah, we've seen that as a dark art. Night riding. Yeah. Why don't we mix the two? Nighttime freestyle riding. Get Blake to do it. Yeah, Blake. No. Go on. <laughs> no. Yes. Like, I, I, no, no jumps. Blake, do it. Oh, man. Martin. Okay, give it a go. <sighs> Literally can just see eight feet. Oh, 
jump. Oh, oh my, I can go over a jump. Oh, oh. I nearly went over the bars on that. I didn't even know where the landing was. Blind hate. Man, do you realize every time I jump, it goes black. I don't even know where the, I don't even know where the landing is. Back to you. Right, a dark art for me, Martin. One that you might be able to shed some light on. It's oh, cool. Trials riding. I cannot do it. Don't get it. I don't know how you're supposed to get good at it. It's like black magic, isn't it? What's the secret? It's incredible. I mean, look at some of this riding. It's absolutely amazing. The technical ability of a, a world-class trials rider now, I've got to be honest, right, is some stuff I just don't understand it. I mean, I'm into trials and I watch them doing these, these what, lines. The competition stuff? Look at that, yeah. And, and I just... I can't believe they can do it. Um, but that man there, that is Kenny Belay, right? Yep. He is so many times world champion, I can't even keep out. I think it's 10 times now. Um, he's still at the top of his game. He's been there for like 20 years. He's incredible. Yeah. Um, but I got hold of him on the phone uh, and he said he'd take us through some tips on trials. So nice. Kenny, what you got? All right, Martin. Thanks for the shout out to us trials riders. This right here is my trials bike. It's carbon fiber. It's super light about eight kilogram it has hydraulic rim brakes because when we land onto the front wheel that's where you want to block the front wheel and the disc brake will just make the wheel shaky a rim brake doesn't it's like about eight kilogram all the power that you put in you get back out because when we stand on the back wheel like that and we jump sideways onto an obstacle it's about we can go up to one meter 45 one meter 47 which you have to do at the end of a section. So at the end of your two minutes. So you're standing next to a wall this high, then you have to jump up with a heartbeat 180. So the mental and the physical preparation to be a good trials riders in competition is really crazy. It's so much work. For you guys, maybe it's not that necessary to do all that, but I can give you some tips and tricks to be a better mountain biker just by learning the basics of trials. Here we go. So the basics of trials, the track stand, if you turn your handlebar to the left, that means your right foot has to be in the front and the other way around. If you turn your foot to the left, your handlebar has to go to the right because then you create a better balance between left and the right side of your bike. Slightly make this swinging movement so you keep your balance. Work with your limbs, your core stability, very important. And once you do that, also your arms, you have to be slightly relaxed because don't stress too much because don't break like that. Just keep the bike loose, be relaxed, and I'm sure I'm guarantee you, you'll be going faster downhill. Thank you, Kenny Belay. Super cool. Huh? He's yeah. a cool rider, isn't he? Nice. Yeah, that guy's super talented. Right, next, dark art. Um, yeah. Oh, this one. This is what mountain biking is all about for me. I love this. Never quite mastered it like you have. Riding smooth. Oh, it's easy, mine. Well, it's easy when you know how, but for most of us out there, look, trying to ride like this guy, Sam Hill, look at him, it makes it look so easy. That's a different matter. Sam yeah. Hill is different level to... The anyone. speed is different, but but that riding smooth, that technique, yeah. um, how do we do that, Neil? Give us one tip. How well, can we learn to ride like you guys? I always thought he came from riding dirt jumps, personally, riding yeah. trails. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't think Sam Hill does that. Obviously, he rides flat pedals, that might be yeah. it. But I think learning to pump, for me, was a really big one. That's to learn one. to use the ground and get off the ground when it's rough and that's yeah. smooth as you ride now. Right, okay, so learning to pump, that's our, uh, us our lesson for all of us normals who can't ride like Neil and Sam Hill. Um, we're gonna start learning to pump. Yeah. So there's some dark arts for you. Nice. Uh, hopefully some tips in there that are gonna help improve your riding, fingers crossed. Um, but I tell you where else there's dark arts. Some stuff I definitely don't understand is yeah. maintenance. Yeah. Looking after bike, like building true. bike wheels, bleeding brakes. Wheel building, that's you know, the one. You know who knows all about that. Doddy. Over to you for the dark arts of maintenance. Yeah, okay, so dark arts. I'm definitely gonna say wheel building is probably the dark art of mountain biking. These days you don't really need to build wheels so much because the pre-built packages you get from most decent manufacturers like Mavic, DT, any of those, they tend to be really, really good. But back in the day, building a set of wheels yourself was the best way to get some decent wheels. And it was definitely a dark art because you used to have to measure hubs, measure the flanges, distance between the flanges, all that stuff to work out your own measurements for creating the spoke length. So that itself put a lot of people off, let alone having to have dedicated equipment like spoke keys and even a wheel jig if you want to do the job 
properly, but actually it's pretty easy to do these days. There's a whole number of websites available. There's one on the screen now, and you can literally just type in the type of rim that you're planning on getting, the hub option that you have, and it will work out, calculate the spoke length that you need. You can buy those spokes online, and it's pretty easy. In fact, I built up a set of wheels for my commuter bike recently. Literally just laced them up in the morning, trued them up nicely, and was riding to work on it on the, the next Monday, pretty much. It's actually a fairly simple process to lace up a set of wheels, and we are gonna look at this on GMBN Tech soon. However, it's a very, very hard process to master. Something I've still not done after all these years, because you just simply don't need to do it that much. Now, when you are gonna tackle something like this, it's really important to get decent quality rims, because this is the single biggest thing when building a set of wheels. If you've got soft rims, they're incredibly hard to get completely straight. You end up with a wheel that's slightly egg-shaped or lumpy. Something like a carbon rim, I'm not suggesting you buy one, but a carbon rim is very easy to build into a very straight wheel because the rim itself is so stiff in the first place. But it's all about choosing the right stuff and there's some really good websites out there. And in fact, Calvin from Park Tools, he, as far as I'm concerned, he's the wheel master. Have a look at this little video from Calvin. So what, what this simply is, it's a spreadsheet with a radar chart. So what happens is the bigger outline is the tighter of the two sides and the smaller circle is the less tension. And they're not the same. But this was a front wheel? Yes, viewers, that is a disc hub and the disc hub is flatter. It's shorter and to get that, it's tighter. It's tighter. So now what's interesting about this, this wheel is very, very true. You can see the different tensions though, but it's very common to see, you'll see a spoke that's a bit tight and its neighbor a bit loose. Well, what we want to have in a wheel is even tension on the same side. Yeah, so there you go. That's what I think is the dark art of mountain bike maintenance. And it's definitely something we'll have a look at soon. Thank you, Doddy. That is the dark arts mastered, I think. Um, let us know if you've got any dark arts in the comments down below, of course. Um, yeah, get involved. <laughs> Yeah, so to the news, Martin. Let's do it. Red Bull Rampage last weekend. I'm sure yeah. lots of our viewers have seen this. Did you watch it, Martin? What do you think? I did. I really enjoyed it. I yep. really enjoyed it. I don't think the right person won. Ooh, it's always going to be tough with these mm. judged events. But yeah. who did you think should have won? Um, I think Andre Le Condigui, uh his yeah. run was, it, it summed up the word rampage for yeah. me. It was all of that. that and I, I think he should have won it. I uh, think he should have won it. Oh, my Second life. in the end. Brett Reader, awesome ride for me as well. It was super smooth. First run down um, for him, he won it on that. But yeah, I don't know. It was it was over too quick, and it didn't have you know. It's the always, was all over the place. I always think it's a bit of an anticlimax on the edge. rampage where yeah. the first run wins, and then mm. people are like, oh, well, that's it. I don't want to risk doing it again. But yeah, that's where yeah. it goes. Um, Brendan, another, yeah, Brendan Fairclough is uh, his run was great, wasn't it? Nice run. Great line, super, yeah. super line. Um, and I reckon that could have been up there. Uh, I don't know where he ended up in the end, but uh, it wasn't tenth, the top, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah. so not high enough. So the rumour has been going around for a little while, but it seems uh, confirmed, well, mm. not quite confirmed, but it looks like Aaron Gwynn is leaving YT. Dun, dun, dun! He talks about it on one of his most recent Instagram posts, uh, saying that the mob, I think, is staying with YT, but yeah. Aaron is leaving the mob and YT by the looks of it. Wow! No news about where he's going yet, but I've heard rumours. Who knows? Oh, I'm can sure. you say the what the rumour is? Well, I don't know. If it, we, I've heard rumours of intense, I've heard so. rumours of Trek, I've heard rumours of Specialised. Oh, Who has got the money? I'd like them. to see him on a Cannondale. I'd like to see him. With a lefty. Maybe an e-bike. <laughs> I've not heard that rumour. Really uh, we don't know where he's going. No. But um, yeah, good to see some changes. Big news. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Um, what about this? Now, I don't think this is brand new news, but it's new to me. So that counts, right? Yeah. Um, Sam Pilgrim game. This new, um, it's, it's called, oh, it's so cool. I've got it on my phone. Shred 2. I just downloaded the app. You can play a Sam Pilgrim. It's an amazing. Shred was a great first uh, uh, mountain bike app on your phone. Wicked stuff you could do. Wow. And now know. you can actually do it as Sam Pilgrim. You've got it on my phone. Mountain bike games on your phone. Check, I'm going to show you it now. And you're going to be like, what? Look at this. My, I'm 37 years old. I don't really play games on my phone. I don't really, but when you can be Sam Pilgrim, I've always wanted to ride that Sam Shred too. Does he, does he say anything? I don't know. I don't know if it's in uh, Pilgrim voice. Yeah, that's a cool game. So, uh, Neil, you've been away last few weeks. Where you been? Yeah, I went on a holiday to Madeira for a mountain bike trip with a load of mates. Oh, wow. uh, some of the best riding I've ever done. Amazing lonely trails. 
some of those ridges. Yes. You remember seeing the Rat Boy film and that yes, red convertible? Yeah. Loved it. Yeah, amazing. Look at that. Oh, cool. And you had Andrew Titley with you as well. I did. Some old school names coming out of the woodwork. Well, yeah. some of my old friends, of course. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Anyone who uh, knows old school mountain bikes from the 90s will know the name Andrew Titley. Yeah. Legend. Legend. Rides all the time, doesn't he? He does love it. He's looking fitter than I've ever seen him. fit race. Incredible. Box. Right, it is time for Fact of the Week with no one else but him there. Well, it's not really a fact this week, it's more trivial, I suppose. But talking about <laughs> Halloween yes. and spooky bike names. Yes. I've come up with like a good it. little list here. Viewers get involved if you can think of any others. Right. Spooky bikes. Oh, of course. Them. Spooky bikes, yeah. Charge yeah. made a cleaver. Yes, like it. Rocky cleaver. Mountain Slayer. Carpel Apocalypse, Spooky Metalhead, oh, I talk about Spooky. Gary Fisher did a Grateful Dead bike. <laughs> of course, Evil Bikes. There's so many of them. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I've got one. I've what? got one. Cannondale Beast of the East. Beast of the East. What is the Beast yeah. of the East? That's some sort the Beast of, of the East. Uh, well, actually, it was to do with uh, West Co East Coast Style single track. Single yeah. track. Yeah. So it had a high bottom bracket because these single tracks are real sweepy. Uh, and uh, they had a high bottom bracket so you didn't get lots of pedal strikes. Yeah, Apparently. No. Sound, that sounds bike. scary to me. To yeah, honest. yeah. so it's not so scary when you explain it. But, no you know, but it's Canada, so who cares? It's amazing. Get involved. I'm sure there's some more yeah, let us puns know. and names. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Jess. Hack on. Oh, that was good. Come on. I mean, I've almost missed it. I've been away for a couple of weeks. But it almost does ruin my favourite part of the show, Mark. So I actually I love it. hacks and bodges. Yes, hacks and bodges time with chain reaction cycles. We've got £100 Ooh. to give away to the best hacks and bodges in Freak Hack Week this week. Um, yeah, and you can spend that money in chain reaction cycles. Get whatever you want as long as you let us know. That's actually not a, but a part of the deal. You just get to do whatever yeah. you like. Yeah, um, but we've got a winner coming up. So I'm going to start off with yeah. this one. Um, I like this one. It is from, Ooh. let me just check who it's from. This is from Bruce. Bruce. Right? Looks simple, doesn't it? Like, USB fan, yeah. right? That he used, like, he's given us all these pictures of this great ride he was on in BC, British Columbia. Yeah. Um, kept all his stuff dry each night. So he'd drive it for now, ready to ride for the next day using this. Little USB well, fan. You've got to plug it into your computer. Or yeah, 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 yeah. So you took it on the phone. Does first. it work? Yeah. Well, he said it saved so much time. Okay. Said it said um, instead of waiting eight hours every day for your clothes to dry, he was using this fan like a little tumble dryer. Such a good idea. In Madeira, it rains three or five days yeah. a day. I'm it's a good hack. Shoes every day. It's a good hack. I mean, I think that's in the running. It's clever. Okay. Good I, use. Like it. This one looks like a zombie's been involved and um, fixed the tire for Manuel in Ooh, Switzerland. Yeah. Why throw away a new uh, seventy-five Swiss franc tire? Just for a one half inch long cut, so he's just yeah. What's he used? I don't know. It's a little, a little, a little bit of twine. Or yeah, something. yeah. That's pretty good. That's definitely a. I do, I do like that because that is sort of like the first little hint of Freak Week in Hacks and Bodges because yeah. it reminds me of like Frankenstein's head or something. And that tire doesn't um, look like it's in good nick as well. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, nice yeah he swap. said it. He said it run till the end of the tire's lifetime actually. So it it, it stayed up. Pretty cool. What else you got? I've got another one. For, uh, this is from Scott, who lives in Derbyshire in the UK. He's got uh, lives in a cottage. Got loads of bikes. So he's using an old pair of drop bars for yes. mounting his cross bike, road bike, road yeah, bike to the wall. It's a road bike. So I, I did say it was Freak Week and uh, Halloween. Ah, yeah, so this there. is pretty scary. A road bike. Ugh. Yeah. Out using the road bike bars as well. But we'll let you off just for this week. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Very cool. Right. I have got now. This could be. This could be a, in the running Whoa. for the win, right? This is from Ellis, right? Uh, obviously very Halloween-like. Yeah. You're thinking that's a crazy helmet. Well, the, underneath there's a helmet, because see, he couldn't get the helmet, the, these big paper mache 
Halloween suit to stay on is Jack yeah. the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. One of my favourite films. It's not Christmas though, is it? Um, and the, he put the helmet inside so it kept the he, the yeah. Jack the Pumpkin King ha head on. Excellent. What do you think of that? It's all right. It's a great bit of art. And I, I think that's in the running. <laughs> but Neil, no. you're the man who's got to decide. Am I? It can't be that guy with a road bike. I'm okay. putting him out. It's, it's got to be either Ellis or like Bruce or, or Bruce. Manuel. Uh, I'm gonna go with Manuel because he can buy himself a new tire. Wow, perfect. Yes. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Manuel, you're a winner of a Chain Reaction Cycles £100 voucher. Yeah. Best of luck. And if you do want to let us know what you spend it on, yeah, do. Yeah. Um, that's great. Um, if you want to send in a hacker or bodge or a viewer edit bike vault, any of your stuff, that you'd like us to use see. Use the uploader. Yeah, use the uploader and we get to see it. We get all your details um, and we can hear your stories about the pictures or videos you send in. So get involved. Okay, caption contest time. Your chance to win a GMBM water bottle. There's last week's photo. Um, funny thing uh, is that's Dolly's normal face. <laughs> he just pulls a face the rest of the time. Yeah, yeah he's just holding a face constantly. Okay, Piss, um, Picasa Light or Pixel Light. When you book your plane tickets for Whistler, the week after it closes. Yeah, that is the sort of face. Who would do that? No yeah, would. actually, it's not a bad thing to do. It's super quiet. Just a pedal up. Yeah, don't feel bad. Um, Stuart Rowe says, uh, you're right, Jess. These knickers are uncomfortable. That's a good one. I quite like that one. Uh, Jacek Stepniewski, when you eat too much of Blake's Powerballs. <laughs> yeah. Not tried his Powerballs. That's balls, about right. Um, Sebastian Wallach, what about this one? When the berm goes left, the bike goes right, and you go straight. Ooh. Yeah, that is, they're good this week. Good. I like them. Um, winner, winner? Stuart Rose, you're right, Jess. These knickers are uncomfortable. Stuart Rose, you have won yourself a GMB and water bottle. Best of luck catching that. It's gone. I think you caught that. Well nice done. Um, this sorry, week's photo is from a road, bi road bike nightmare. Yes, Martin. look at this. Chris yes. Smith all done up in his lycra. There's all sorts of terrible acting in this film, but also some <laughs> terrible, but. terrible props. <laughs> and the Assos skin suit was probably the worst of the lot. Yeah, absolutely was. Give us your caption for that in the comment section down below, and you too could win yourself a GMB and water bottle. Best of luck. Okay, now remember, before we go any further, one thing you must be doing is subscribing to GMBM because then you get to see all of our videos, you get a notification if you want, a little bell ringing yeah. on your phone. You won't miss a thing. Of course, you'll be supporting us, being part of the gang, so make sure you subscribe. I don't know why you're telling me that, Mark. Of course I do. Well, you generally. Generally, you do unsubscribe sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. What we got for the uh, comments? So this talking week? about the dirt shed last week, when you talk about ten things you wish you'd known before you started mountain biking, mm. Axe Sports has got in touch. So number one, mountain biking is very expensive. Yes, that's true. Um, he's got some good ones here too. Friends are key to progression. Are they? That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about this one? Don't push. Your, don't put the progression off. You will regret it. Yeah, some really good yeah. ones. Read the comments yourselves down below last week's dirt show. Some great comments there. Yeah. Um, Alex Mason has said one. He said, road bikers get pissed off and you slipstream them all the way home on your mountain bike. Yes. They yeah, do. they do. That's something I'd wish I'd known when I found out. I would, um, though, as well, if someone did that. Yeah, I would. It's been really annoying. It's a bit um, rude. Farhan says, um, he wish he'd known to get a dropper post as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. That does help for a lot That's of people. That's definitely one. Um, also got some great comments below. Neil and size backpacking yeah. in adventure in Iceland. Finally come out in the video. Um, Which was awesome. Probably a month ago we did it. I loved that trip. Uh, yeah. I hope that comes across in the video because it was just frothing with how good it was. Yeah, it really Got a good. funny comment here though from Riz Kurz. He said, little known fact, all that sulfurous hot air seen in the video is caused by gravel bike riders worldwide telling anyone who'll listen just how much gravel fun bikes are fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's true, yeah. It's true. Rob Bonney says, um, who watched this and didn't want to ride their bike in Iceland? Thought so? No one. Yeah, yeah awesome adventure, he said. Um, and what about this one from Josh Smith? Says, potentially the best video ever on GMBN, Neil. Thanks. I that totally cool. appreciate it. We did get a few yeah. comments about um, saying it's not real bike packing because we had support in Stone Hut. It's true, we did, but it's freezing cold. It, it was basically mm. almost impossible to camp, we were yeah. told. It was so wild, but yeah. um, I wouldn't have done it any other way. Staying in that hut was amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Magna, our guide, had a few beers and a few steaks in the van as well, so it worked out all right. Yeah, that dinner did look amazing. And how many potatoes did you Ooh, guys take? Potatoes. That was a lot of potatoes. The ride did, did almost kill me, though, to be fair. It was a long day. Yeah. Two long days. <laughs> 
Freak Week, of course, this week. Lots of Halloween action, uh, yeah. and it continues. What are you looking forward to? Well, Blake is riding a fixie mountain bike, which of course yeah. makes sense. We all want to try that out, don't we? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. That could go horribly wrong. Tune in. Yeah. And, see what happens. And yeah, and hopefully he'll survive. Um, and next week, I've got a cool video coming about tyre pressure, actually, nice. so that might be quite insightful. So stay with us on GMBN and see all the upcoming videos. Right, it's time for the bike vault. Oh, right, let's, let's get do in it. Let's get into the bike vault. And this week, it's a bumper edition. Here, Bumpers. So we're going to have to really uh, hold tight. We're going to have to rattle through them. I'm just going to let the vault open here. Um, have we got the super nice bell ready? Cue the super nice bell. Here we are. Bike vault coming. Slow loading today. Slow loading day for the bike vault. Uh, here we go. Come on. Okay, bike vault time. Here we go, Neil. Ready with the bell for super nices. Yep. And we are in with uh, Jet's eight, uh, he's eight year old, his propane. Oh, yeah. Propane? Uh, yeah, yeah. They make kids bikes, yeah. Yeah, well, look at that. Very cool. Uh, wow. Well, big super nice. Kids bikes always yeah. get super nice. Yeah. Super nice. Um, Imagine yeah. being that kid eight years old right now. That's a cool bike. There he is. Look yeah. at that. Wow. Rushing through the woods, aren't they? Ooh. Ooh, don't see many black and white shots. Hard tail. Moody, what uh, is it? Chris, a Dartmoor Hornet. Don't see many Dartmoors. In Scotland. Nice. I really like it. It's nice. Nice. Nice bike. Next up, we have got Gregory's Trek Remedy 8. Luxembourg. Yeah. Never, I've not really heard much about it nice. in Luxembourg. It's I'm nice. sure there's those. But... Yeah, it's yeah, nice. nice. It's cool. Nice. Nice shot. That's oh, long. Yes. What is that? Stanton. Stanton. That is Finn's. 2018 Stanton. Yeah, it does look like a sort of modern uh, hardtail, doesn't it? Super yeah. long, really tight back end on it. Don't know why you think it might be the thin tubing, but it reminds me of a sun, sun chippy sun racing. Sun like, chippy, yeah. 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 Don't know why. Throw back. I like it. It's nice. It's, it's nice. nice. Here we go, Martin. Cool, the Jets, Martin. It's a Carondale, what is it? FSI with a lefty. It's in Denmark. This cool bike. Super nice. It's like Cannondale cheat on the super nice. Look at the dropper. It's got one of those super lightweight, tiny little droppers. Yeah. Actually, love it. Super nice Cannondale. Very Just cool. goes without saying. Yeah. Well, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but I'll let you off this time. Next up, we have got David's Ri Ridley. Ridley. 27.5. More known for their road bikes, Ridley. Oh, yeah. yeah. And cross bikes. Not a fan of that one. <laughs> really? I'm not a fan of that. No. Oh, I'm sorry, David. That's the nice for me. They shot you down. That's a nice for me. It's nice. It is nice. It's nice, but it's, it's yeah. Moving on. Next one. That's cool. Andy's transition scale. Oh. Where's that green booth reservoir? I presume that's up north mm, yeah. in the UK because it looks like it. Yeah. It's cool. I really like that. I like the wind farm. I that. like a sort of sandy coloured bike. Oh, I think that's super nice. Wow. <laughs> Only a second ride out on that one. No. Oh. Next up, we have got. Oh, a cross. Cross. Watchex. Cross soil. Is it uh, Yolanda F used to ride for cross, didn't she? Yes. Not yeah. anymore? Not anymore. It's very bright. That's a cool change, isn't it? To Trek. I like that. Oh, um, yeah. You talked about it last week, but Trek yeah. have got a superpower uh, women's team, haven't they? Got yeah. Rachel Athen, Tracy Mosley, Emily Batty, Yolanda Neff. Really bright. Unbelievable. Formidable. Uh, um, but this cross is just nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's just a shame. Um, Ooh, Canon, uh, Canyon Spectral. Yeah, HK's. Grey and orange. Davos. Uh, what are you saying, Neil? I think that's a cool bike. It's a cool bike. It's a spectacular back. I think that's super nice. Go on. I love paint job on that. There's a new uh, Spectral Super nice. Next. Rocky yeah. Mountain. That. Uh, Can't help but think that the shock looks like it's in upside down. Piggyback at the top. Yeah, don't like it. Might be wrong. Not a fan. <laughs> uh, cool. Where where is that? It is Austrian in Alps. Lear game. Oh, it is. Yeah, I recognise it. They've been there. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Is it more than that? It's nice. It's nice. Ooh, this is cool. I like this one. Bit of a cave. Oh. Bet some people have gone in that cave and Bentonville, Arizona. Is that? Yeah. Arizona? Spot Rocker. Never heard of it. Cool, isn't it? I like that one a lot. Oh, God, then. It's a nice. It's, it's a nice. nice. It's a big nice. I've never heard of Next before. up, Trek from Mark in Peavine Mountain. Reno. Nevada. Reno. That's where uh, Interbike is held nowadays. Uh, cool bike. Nice. Cool. Nice. I'm sure it's good riding as well. Nice, Mark. Yeah, like, nice it. like it. Like it. Oh, here we go. John Salsa. Salsa. 
I like a salsa. They're pretty sort of niche. This one in uh, Michigan. Steel bikes. Are they mostly, I think, salsa. I might be wrong. Billy, that sounds right. It's a cool hardtail. Oh, come on. Go so on. Nice. Super nice. Yeah, like that. Um, a Another very half hearted ring of that bell. Oh, meal. I'm sorry, mine. Very half hearted. Sean, Santa Cruz Chameleon. Nice. 29er in the, in the concrete bowl. That's different. It is, but yeah. I really like. I've had a few chameleons in my time back in the 26 inch wheel days. Have you? Lovely bikes. You've got a bit of a soft spot for this one? I do. I bet that's a really fun bike. Go on, ring that. Oh, Go on. Boss, boss. Boss. Ring this. Hardtail. Hardtails. A bit of hardtail. Hardtails are sick. Come on, other Santa Cruz. That yeah, is. Santa Cruz High Tower. Uh, uh, John's Santa Cruz High Tower. Oh, I'm here at Super Nice Airs. Mega bike. Wow, you're, you've got mental now. You've got mental. High Tower LT. Okay, next up. Oh, wow, fatty Tim's Fat Boy Specialized. With what? Look at the background, man. And there's camels. Camels in the background. It's camel Trump dogs in the. Yes. That's in Qatar. Super nice. Right super nice. Well, you, you've got to ride a fat bike in the desert. How many bikes are in the five on this week? Uh, this is Waldo's custom build Santa Cruz. Waldo, Bronson. where's Waldo? Where is Waldo? He is in Chile. Yeah, Santiago. Yes. I've ridden there. Go on, Neil. Give him a super nice. We are out of the bike vault. That was a good bike vault, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you send your bike into the bike vault. Use the uploader. Um, you might get a super nice, but don't worry. You get no worse than a nice. You're safe. Is the bangers. Great Instagram accounts for mountain bike people we think you should follow. And I've got an Instagram account. Uh, I'm by no means affiliated with these guys, but uh, check out Free Ride Madeira. I had a brilliant trip over there. They showed us around, gave us uplifts. If you're thinking about going there, definitely give them a follow. Cool. Can you hook me up with those guys? Oh, probably. Well, I didn't get hooked up, but maybe. Grom of the week is Jesse in Flankstaff, Arizona, riding a 16-inch Navarra Stinger. Check that out. That is cool. Oh, cool. I do love seeing the Groms ride. That's very nice. Um, viewer edit this week. Yeah. Um, we have got a cool viewer edit this week. I'm really interested in seeing this one. It's from Jack, um, and he's out riding with his mates. Here we go. We're off. Shredding his local forest in Australia. Yeah. This is Jack riding. Wheelie in. Right, here we go. We're into the trails with Jack. Oh, he's fast. I'm not Good. sure about the black and white. Oh, oh, there we go. As if by magic. Wow, Whoa, that? that was huge. Oh, that was can... absolutely huge. Bit of roost. Oh, is that a scar? Go on. Go on. I want to know who Jack's riding with. Do we know who Jack's riding with? With his mate. With his mate. My mate. Jack, thank you very much. Good for your edit. Really cool. Cool looking riding. Really, really cool. So we've got some competition winners this week, mine, some huge results. The Synchros giveaway. So you remember yes. all that uh, mental, expensive oh. cross-country wheels, bars, down water. Uh, it was open for quite a while, but it's closed. There can only be one winner. And the winner of £4,000 worth of carbon fiber is the, uh, Scott Briggs. Scott! Congratulations! So keep an oh eye out God. on your emails, we'll be in touch and we'll get that stuff shipped over to you. <laughs> I love the idea that there's a guy on the end of that yeah. camera now just freaking out. He's like, he said my name! That is a great prize. Amazing. I wish I'd won that. I wasn't allowed to enter. No. It sucks. Okay, what we want to talk about now is our shop. Because we've got our teas in the shop, our frequent teas. Limited edition. Limited edition. There's not many left. They're only on sale until November 5th. Yeah. I know you can't get them anymore, that's it. Go. So um, do we get to keep these ones? Uh, yeah. I hope so. Um, yeah, so if you want yours, get to the shop. Uh, the link's up above Neil's head, I think. Get Just involved. Yeah. yeah, get involved. Thanks for the support. Yeah, we do appreciate the support. It keeps us running. Hit the subscribe button, and if you want to see my video from Iceland, bike packing video, click over here for that one. Absolutely, and it is Freak Week, so why don't you check out Road Bike Nightmare, which is just here. Um, and before you go, give us a thumbs up like. We'll see you next time. See you next week.